It's Leanna McLean reporting with Metroland Media Group and in this Your Life video series we have some fish tips for you for the fall. Today I'm back with Alan Bass, the fishing expert, and in this segment we're going to discuss fattening up for the fall. So tell me a little bit about how the fish work when the uh, when it starts to cool down. Okay, so when we get into September and we get the cool nights and the warmer days, the fish are, it triggers the fish. The fish don't think, well I better eat. They were just instinctive creatures, so when they feel the cooler water, the cooler air, uh, they, start to, they start to feed voraciously because they know when they get into the winter, we get the ice, there's very little food around. So they're just like bears. They're like they fatten up. Getting ready to hibernate. That's <laughs> right. Sort of. Yeah, they don't hibernate, yeah. but there's very little food under the ice. Okay. So they know that they have to fatten up and get as much weight on as possible. So you get into September and October, and uh, you know the, the, fish, the fish instinctively know they have to feed. So would you say then this is a great time to go out fishing then, since you know they're gonna bulk up? That's right. Okay. Now, of course, all the fish won't be feeding at the same time in the lake, right. but when you find a, a pot of fish feeding, they will feed for two or three hours at a time. Wow, okay. So, you know, you could catch your biggest fish in the fall, all fish, uh, whether you're you're after crappie or or you're after musky or pike or bass or walleye, they all have to feed voraciously in the fall to fatten up for the winter. Okay. So would you say just like if you're you know around the area or whatever, keep switching locations, and once you hit that spot, it may be jackpot for you. That's right. Now, so uh, look at the the more productive areas, the points. The drop offs where it drops from 7 to 12 feet of water. Okay. Uh, the ledges, they'll be along the ledges waiting for their prey. Uh, they'll be along the shoreline in some cases, uh, trying to uh, push the fish up onto the shallower water okay. so they can feed. Okay, and that's where the hydrographic chart comes in again, right? Always that's look right. at your map. That's right, always look at your map. Most of us have uh, a, a depth finder on our boat. Right. Most of us don't have a GPS because they're very expensive. Right. So have a look at your hydrographic chart, map out a couple of areas, and uh, go and have some fun. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Alan. This is Leanna McLean reporting with Metroland Media Group.